All right, guys. So today we're going to look at um, how to take apart 10 to subtract. So this is really similar to what we did. We started doing with the temperature where we're finding the difference mentally between the high of the day and the low of the day. So we're going to practice how to do that on paper so we can get better at doing it mentally. So um, if we look at this first page, um, we have a problem down at the bottom that says there are 56 leaves on a tray. So I'm going to show 56. Just like that, if you want to draw rods and dots, sticks and dots to show your tens and ones, that would be good. Remember, we don't need to draw a whole rectangle with all the split up little cubes. You just draw one line for your tens. So we're going to demonstrate 56 leaves. All right. So 22 leaves fell off the tree. How many are left? So think about that um, strategy that we talked about. Oh, goodness, my base symbol is really dirty. Just got all that dry erase marker. Um, so think about what we talked about with the temperature, how we said, what would be a good way to count back or count up? We would do the tens first and then the ones next, right? So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to look at 22. That's the number we're taking away. This is our full number sentence, right? So we have, oh goodness, we have 56 minus 22. So write that at the bottom of your paper for me. So the number that we're taking away is what we're going to split into tens and ones. So I know that if there is a two in the tens place, that means that there are two tens. And if there's a two in the ones place, that means that there are two ones. So go ahead and fill that in on your paper. So what I'm going to do first is take away the tens. So two tens is equal to how much? How much is that equal to? 20, right? So I'm going to take 20 away first. So I'm going to do... Two tens, I'm going to take those away first. So if I take 20 away first, how much am I left with? 36, right? So a way that you can count backwards by tens is if you start at your number, the ones place isn't going to change, okay? The only thing that's going to change is the tens place. So if I count backwards by tens, it would be 56, 46, 36. If I kept taking them away, it would be 26, 16. Six, do you see how each of those numbers that I just named have a six in the ones place? Because the ones place doesn't change. But I'm only going to take away two. So if I take away 20, I'm left with 36. Look, ones place did not change. Okay. After I take away the tens, then I'm going to take away the ones. So I took away the tens. Oh, goodness. Put a little check mark right there. Now I'm going to take away the ones. So how much is two ones equal to? It's equal to two, right? So I want to show you something. The number that you get here is what you're going to start with here, right? Because it's kind of like just starting at the same place on the number grid, right? When we were subtracting the high temperature or when we were counting up from low to high, we started, we counted up our as many tens as we could. So we went 26 to 36. And then we said, okay, now I'm going to count up my ones, right? So I started at that same number that I got after I counted up my tens. That's the point is that we just kind of backwards the tens. Now we're going to start with that number again, and then we're going to count back the ones. So this number 36 is going to go right there again. And then I'm going to take away the two ones. So 36 minus two ones is 34. Okay. So all I did is I took that second number that I'm subtracting and I broke it apart into tens and ones, right? If I had 22, this is 22 right here. That's 22. If I broke it apart into tens and ones, it would be two tens and two ones. That's all I did on that first step. And then I said, okay, well, I'm going to take away the tens first. So that's minus 20. And then after I take away the tens, I'm going to start with that number that I got. And then I'm going to take away the ones. Okay. So let's do another one. Flip over to the back. So how many leaves do I have left on the tree? 34. Put a box around that word left. We forgot to do that. Left means I'm going to probably be subtracting, okay, if it's in the question. All right, here we go. So if we, um, they're doing an example here. If we have 35 minus 13, if I split 13 into the tens and ones, this is what 13 looks like. If I split 13 into tens and ones, I would have one 10 and three ones, right? That's exactly what they did. They had 10 and three is what equals is what's equal to 13. So go ahead and trace that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my number that I'm the hole in my problem, right? So this is our 
heart, part, whole box is if we were starting with a whole of 35, we're taking away 13, and we are trying to figure out how much is left, okay? So I'm starting with the whole right here, and I'm going to take away the tens first. Okay, sorry guys. So back to this. So we are um, going to take away the 10 first, okay? So I'm going to take away that one 10 that I broke up 13 into. And remember, whenever I just subtract a 10, on my ones place doesn't change. So I go 35, 25. A little check mark right there because we subtracted the tens. And then we're going to start with that same number, remember? So I, whatever number I got here is what I start with here. So I'm starting at that same number, 25. Now I'm going to subtract the ones from 13. So that's minus 3. I know that 5 minus 3 is 2. So 25 minus 3 is 22. Okay? So 35 minus 13 is 22. So all I'm doing is doing it one step at a time. This is this is a little bit different from the break apart to add strategy because all we're doing here is we're not like splitting it into anything wonky with like trying to make 10 or anything. All we're doing is tens and ones. That's it. Every time. So I want you to try to do one and two by yourself um, with what we did on the front and on this top problem. And remember, I just want to see what you know. So it's okay if you get it wrong and we will talk about it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.